Well, howdy. It's Psychedelic Squid, and it's time for another Mythical Whalers development log. All right, let's get right into it. So I've been hard at work for the last couple of weeks here, working on this game. And as you can see, I've added mobs. Right now, we're there's a lot of mobs, a lot of squid here. And they are not looking friendly, so um, the way they work is you can either you'll be able to attack them, or if you're within a certain proximity of them, I'll go right in the middle of these two squid, and you end your turn, they will attack you. Uh, they basically search a perimeter around them, and if the player's within it at the end of the turn, they will use a star pathfinding algorithm to path towards the player and attack if possible. The whales basically will do the exact opposite, where instead of pathing towards the player, they will flee. Um, other thing I've added here is you can see there's a movement cost. So every move you make is going to take up your movement points. There's also a wind direction. So every turn, there's a chance that the wind direction will change. If you're moving with the wind, you get a little bonus. Moving against the wind, you get a penalty. Um, yeah, so that should allow for a little bit more uh, strategy when navigating around the world. You can see here, added some animations for all the different tile types, so all the different tiles can be animated. I've redone a few of the tiles, but many more tiles will still need to be added. If you hear any frantic meowing in the background, I've moved my cat outside of my office so he is fiercely trying to gain entrance so what I'm looking for here is I've added in procedurally generated structures. Oh, oh, here we are. We have found some. All right. So you can see here we got some houses and farms. What is this? A castle. Let's go check it out. So basically, as you're exploring around the map, there'll be little towns and villages and other locations the player can visit. Behold, the artwork of Francesco. So I'm pleased to say I was able to recruit a talented artist off of Upwork, and uh, yeah, I think this is exactly what the game needs, is someone who can really inject this game with a lot of flavor and kind of a thick vibe, and I'm quite happy with it so far. Um, yeah, so... These, this is one of the scenes here of the town. Um, be able to visit different locations later on. You'll be able to visit the castle and stuff. And uh, all of this is going to be animated. And with a nice soundtrack, I think it's going to have quite a nice immersive atmosphere. Uh, so we'll be able to visit the tavern now. We'll go in there. Um, yeah, so here's where the player will be able to recruit... Uh, crew members so by clicking on this mysterious figure here um, you'll get a you'll find a mystery individual who you will be able to recruit uh, for your ship all right let's uh, head back to the game world now so uh, that's most of what I have to show right now in terms of the progress um, oh, I guess one other thing is I've changed it so change the game engine so it uh, supports uh, an infinitely large world before uh, each chunk was being stored in memory so now each one's uh, generated individually um, when it collides with the edges of the screen so uh, the memory management is much better now 
Um, yeah, so I'll be leaving a link for a Discord server um, so we can kind of have more gradual, smaller updates and changes for anybody who's interested in following the development of this game more closely. And there'll obviously be, uh, you know, avenues for people to communicate and talk about the game if they want to. Um, yeah, so until next time, peace, leave a like, bye.